Ethan back for another beer review this afternoon. I'm going to be reviewing one I'm very excited about. If I can get it in the camera, Schlitz. Uh, so I found this for the first time. Well, I bought it for the first time. I had seen it before in my area and uh, wanted to get it, but I didn't because the one I found a couple months ago was 18 months out of date. I can't do 18 months. Uh, a week, a month, a couple months, nah, we could talk about that. I might get a beer that was that much out of date, but 18 months, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But I found it again a couple days ago near me at Corners Fine Wine and Spirits for $11.99, a 12-pack of 12-ounce cans, Schlitz Gusto 12-pack. Um, and this one is Best Buy April 19th, 2021. That, that, you can see it, I think, yeah. So this one's good to go. I'm very excited to get this. Uh, probably one of the only kind of classic American adjunct lagers that I haven't tried yet. Well, I I haven't reviewed yet, but I, I had one already a couple days ago, and this is the first one I'm reviewing. But before that one a couple days ago, never had it before. And I'll, you know, reserve my judgments for when I try it on camera. But, uh, Joseph Schlitz Brewing Company started out in 1849 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The founder was a guy named August Krug. Sounds like a German last name. The fate of it was that it was sold to Paps Brewing Company in 1999. I got the Paps glass to kind of, you know, commemorate that it's now owned by Paps. Uh, originally founded in 1849 by August Krug, passed to Joseph Schlitz in 1858 when he married Krug's widow. Schlitz was then bought out by Stroh Brewing Company in 1982 and subsequently sold along with the rest of Stroh's assets to Pabst Brewing Company in 1999. Pabst produced several varieties of Schlitz beers alongside Old Milwaukee. On November 13, 2014, Pabst announced that it had completed its sale to Blue Ribbon Intermediate Holdings, LLC. Blue Ribbon is a partnership between American beer entrepreneur Eugene Casper and TSG Consumer Partners, a San Francisco-based private equity firm. Prior reports suggested the price agreed upon was around $700 million. So I won't read any more and bore you guys, but there's some interesting history on the beer. It's kind of been tossed around, the brewing company, but I guess the synopsis is it's now owned by Paps Brewing Company. Uh, and on the can, it does say, you know, brewed by Joseph Schlitz Brewing Company, which I assume means there's still a Joseph Schlitz Brewing Company technically, but it is owned and all its assets by a larger company, Pabst, I would assume. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm excited to review this. Got my camera up a little higher than usual. Well, I'm actually using my phone and I usually use my desktop uh, webcam. So it's, it's a little, it's a, the, the height is a little different. So I feel like I'm looking up, but that's okay. What matters is the beer. All right, sort of a typical American adjunct lager Appearance, ascending bubbles, highly carbonated, minimal head, not even a finger. You know, kind of, not. it doesn't have the head of Miller High Life, has kind of more of an old Milwaukee Budweiser kind of head, you know, minimal. A little bit of like a spice note on the nose almost. And I, I swear I'm not going out on a limb there. There is a certain little spice note. Slits gets a 68 on Beer Advocate, which for an American adjunct lager, that's not bad, you know. A lot of them get 40, 50. 68 for Beer Advocate is uh, quite generous. But again, on the nose, something, something kind of spicy and hoppy. I've heard pe people say, beer, other beer viewers say that this one's a little, little hoppier than other... American adjunct lagers, and you know, let's go ahead and see. <coughs> 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 
<coughs> excuse me, went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> so it, it has, it's highly carbonated. It's not smooth like Miller High Life. It's kind of more like, think old Milwaukee meets Coors. Kind of like Pabst, but it doesn't have the little uh, white wine note that Pabst has. <clears throat> the first person who I, I heard say the white wine note in Pabst was with Ronald Terrio of Louisiana Beer Reviews. And ever since he said that, I've detected it. I see, he's not making it up. I detect white wine in Pabst. It's no joke. Maybe, maybe I'm just wanting to, to taste it because of what he said. But you really do get sort of a wine note in Pabst. This one doesn't have that. This one's more like Old Milwaukee and Coors, where it kind of has a little kind of malty, more of a traditional beer flavor. Uh, and again, not the smoothness of Miller High Life, and not the not the uh, kind of unique taste of Budweiser either. Budweiser kind of has that little something something rice taste. This does not taste like rice. It tastes more like, you know, corn, Marley, Marley, Jacob Marley. It tastes more like corn, barley, malt, and hops, right? And it might have yeast in it. I don't know. But I would assume it does. Um, you know, it just kind of, it just has such a beer, beer. It's like a beer's beer, you know? There's a little, there's a little feeling, a taste on the tongue. I, I guess that's the hops that people are talking about, but it is there. I know what they're talking about. Um, and it's interesting. It's different. It's almost like a spice, but there's no like artificial flavoring in this beer, of course. I mean, uh, but there's just a little hoppy note. So yeah, that, that, that is true to me, to my taste. There is that note there. Um, mouthfeel is um, kind of light, but again, it's not like uh, bush, uh, bush light, meaning regular bush light. Uh, certainly not as light as bush light, but regular bush, it's not that light um, at all. It's kind of more like Coors. Uh, let's see if we can get some calories on this. I'd be very curious to see. I know I should probably do this stuff before I review it, but what can you do, right? I don't care. Like, we're all learning about beer together. It doesn't matter. I'm learning, it, you know, as I'm doing it, and so are the people who are watching it, hopefully. <laughs> um, 142 for 12 ounce, the Schlitz. So... Budweiser's 145, I think. Pabst is 144, 45. Coors is 145, maybe. Maybe 150. So this is right there, you know, heavier than Bush. And again, I didn't mention 4.6% alcohol by volume, which is the exact same as Old Milwaukee, which is also a Joseph Schlitz Brewing Company beer, I believe. Uh, uh, Milwaukee's Best Premium, a beer I used to get for $3.99, a six-pack of pint cans, is uh, 4.8, so it's a little more. But this one's better than that. Um, to me, Old Milwaukee, or Milwaukee's Best, there's so many names, it's getting confused. Milwaukee's Best Premium uh, was good, but it, it wasn't this good. Uh, and I think Old Milwaukee is better than Old Milwaukee's Best. And this one's probably a little better than both. It kind of tastes more like Coors, has a little bit more of a pure, kind of less funky flavor, just kind of more of an, a standard, well-rounded beer flavor, you know, for lack of a better term. It's, it's, it's drinkable. It's, it's light to medium with a definite unique flavor again I can't quite describe it but I, I would I would assume it's a hop a certain unique hop they use in the brewing process it kind of tastes like a spice like pepper 
maybe like cinnamon pepper, like something, something weird. Not like cinnamon and not like pepper, but like think, think a seasoning, like what you put on something when you cook, like a very mild one, like, I don't know, you know, oregano, not even oregano, I don't know. Some sort of seasoning it has sort of a spiciness while also still tasting like regular old American adjunct lager, which is what it is, right? <clears throat> yeah, 4.6 ABV, so not high. Uh, lower than Bud, Wiser, and Coors, which are both five. So this has about the same calories, but lower ABV. So more of the calories must go towards the other ingredients versus alcohol ABV, right? Um, I actually already rated this on Facebook and a group I'm in, an alcohol beer group, uh, and I gave it a 93. And I'm going to stick with that. This gets a 93 out of 100, a solid A, you know, a little above A minus, getting into solid A. Um, it's, it's easily as good as Coors Banquet. It's easily as good as Budweiser. Uh, but if you don't like those kind of beers, that's fine. I do. A lot of people do. I mean, the sales show it. This, however, is kind of hard to find, depending on where you are. The distribution's not great, I don't think. In Georgia, where I'm at, um, it is few and far between, as I mentioned in another review, I believe. Um In the probably three or four years that I've been kind of looking around and getting into beer, I've seen it maybe twice or three times in, in four years in, in this area, in like a maybe a, a 40 mile radius in this area. So other states, I'm sure it's easier to get. But when I posted the picture of it on Alcohol Legs, the Facebook group, a lot of people in the comments were saying, you know, oh, I can get it or I can't get it. So it just really depends on where you're at. Some people can get it as easily as Miller High Life, right? Some people cannot get it and they have to, you know, go across two states to get it or whatever. So it just depends on where you're at. Hopefully it'll hang around. Um, I like it. Um, I'm very excited to finally try it and review it. I've been looking for it for a while, one that wasn't two years out of date, right? Um, I'm not a picky person. I will drink a beer if it's a little bit out of date. I will. But 18 months, I, I can't do it. You got to draw the line somewhere, right? <laughs> and um, so glad to get one that wasn't out of date. I will enjoy the entire 12 pack. I'll take my time sipping and enjoying it because, hey, it might disappear. Although I hope not. Uh, that'll be it for this review. Thank you for watching. I'm very excited to post this review of Schlitz. I've been looking for it for a while. Heard great things and it really lives up to uh, kind of its status as the American adjunct lager, the, the classic American adjunct lager, I guess you could say. Well, maybe, maybe the unholy trinity, so to speak, of American classic lagers with the you know this Pabst and maybe I don't know Miller High Life or Budweiser you know you could kind of put them in the sort of top top five of classic beers <clears throat> American adjunct lagers anyway that'll be it get one last look at it Schlitz beer review cheers and thank you for watching.